I've been into machine learning for a long time, but never really tried to actually make a neural network from scratch until the machine learning class I took last semester made me do it for an assignment. I thought the process was pretty illuminating, so I decided to do it again, but this time with some slight changes in my implementation. The goal of the project was to write a basic neural network that could fit sinusoidal data, nothing complex so it wouldn't take too long. I began by opening up NeoVim and writing out the code that would generate the data in the first place. Also, this was streamed live on Twitch so if you want to catch more coding live streams, follow me there at twitch.tv slash thisitcodes. All good. Alright. And that's basically all we're going to do. I don't actually want to add noise to the data because uh, that's unnecessary. And then you turn X and Y. I mean, you can find out if this makes sense by just doing this, writing this, um, and then just Python and end up pi. Okay, generating data works. After I got that out of the way, it was time to work on the actual neural network class. There were a few different components to this. First of all, I had to have the constructor for the class, which would initialize all the weights, biases, and hidden layers of the neural network. Then I had to write on my activation function, which is what is applied to each individual neuron. Then there were a few options when picking an activation function, and I went with the sigmoid function to start with. After that, I had to set up the forward pass through the network, backpropagation, an error method, a method to update the weights and biases, the training method, and the prediction method. This seems like quite a lot, and the first time I had to write a neural network, it did take a long time, but because I'd already done it once, this was just a matter of implementing things I already knew. If you want to learn how to do this yourself, I suggest watching some Sentex videos, I'll leave a link in the description. Then to just to see if this works, I'm gonna do print and then dot uh, w dot shape, I think. Uh, okay, see, there it is. Is it not? Okay, that's good. Moid or tan each. All right, yeah, sigma male type shit. Oh, not return. I just, I just, I just do this. Uh, yeah. Oh. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. Minus X even me. Yeah, that's not even syntax. What? Okay. Wait. Um, I Of course, as soon as I finished coding up the activation function, I had to write the derivative for it, but thankfully the derivative for the sigmoid function is just the sigmoid function times 1 minus the sigmoid function, so I just called the activation function a few times and I was done. After that came the slightly rougher section of having to write the forward pass of the neural network, but this was still easy enough because it was just matrix multiplication. At this point, I was feeling pretty confident and ready to finish everything off by writing out the rest of the methods. I decided to write the training method first. After that, I realized I needed to code up a mean square error method, and in order to do so, I needed a prediction method. So I wrote those up quickly and moved on to writing my backpropagation method. Now that I was done with the backpropagation, I thought I was ready to test the method. Okay, so there's obviously a big problem um, because our error isn't changing at all. So clearly it wasn't working because the error was the same every iteration. It took me a while, but I finally realized what the problem was. Oh my God, I am actually the dumbest guy that's ever existed. I'm not, I'm not updating my weights ever. I'm back propagating and then I don't actually use those weights to update anything. Oh my God.
Okay, that's good. My waist are changing, but it's not working. Like, it's not a good fit. That's fine. Honestly, at this point, I didn't really know why the code wasn't working, probably because my brain wasn't at top capacity, so I just decided to change the activation function. I ended up picking the tanH function and just quickly commented out my old activation function and wrote the new one. You have to go take care of that. So, why is it only running for one? Now, what is... What? I was confused because the training was stopping really early, so I commented out the early stop portion of the training method and ran it again to see how the error changed. Surely it doesn't work that quickly. Since the error got so low so quick, I thought I'd done something wrong. I thought that the plot of the data would look something like the tanH activation function, but then I actually plotted the prediction compared to the actual sine wave, and here's what I got. Doesn't need bucks. And then... Wait. So I'd done it right after all. I adjusted the parameters a little bit, ran it again, and got an even better fit. So it's obviously not the best. But it looks decent. There's but regardless. Yeah, and then it just gets really close. Uh really close to what you would want from a network. I know it don't seem like it, but I was actually pretty hyped to get the project done with. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching all the way through. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and keep in mind that I'm probably streaming live on Twitch right now, so you should come hop in and say hi in the chat. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. Peace out.